Welcome back to another episode of the French, the Les Francais campaign in Hearts of Iron, or not Hearts of Iron, Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. That is such a hard title sometimes. Uh, we are back in our campaign of awesomeness where we have recently dealt with a slight level problem. It was a little bit harsh on us. I mean, they did gain some territory, but... They were really not organized enough to do anything, so, yeah, and last episode we also got some new technology, and we switched back over to the Dual Naturalist, which I'm wondering if that actually does change the newspaper again, but that means we are now completely conservative, we are actually ultra-conservative, if I must be honest with you, but that is really nice to say, and we got a new, uh, national, national thing, and what I'm gonna do is, um, so let's see, we got to support, support, Okay, we need to keep pushing out these... Oh my goodness, these are completely communist. They're German, so it's kind of expected. But still, they're communist. Um, I'm going to uh, start pushing the uh, communism out of my country by supporting a vast amount of reforms in terms of... in terms of conservatism. Hopefully it'll start working, and uh, hopefully this will also... Wait, how is my miss? Is this even working? Eh, it's kind of working, but it's not working to the point I want to. So I'm just going to switch this to being a support the conservative effort. And, yeah. Let's get to our efficiency. What do we want? Hmm. Management. Let's do management. Old-fashioned business. Okay. Dig deep and greedy, as we've always done in this campaign. So as 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 I said, we just we're dealing with our rebel problem, and I bet a lot of you guys are wondering why did I switch over to this government when I said I was going to be conservative. Well, I'm thinking that since being the con the communist, the most reactionist of being a socialist, it's basically the reactionary to being the the, con the socialist. I was thinking maybe that if I be nationalist, I mean reactionary, it'll switch a lot of my votes over to that. So. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is enacting some of these reforms. And maybe repealing some of these reforms. Like, I may want to get back to gerrymandering. I'm seriously thinking about going back to gerrymandering. But let me just let me just get excellent safety regulations. I mean, my country is honestly one of the best in the world. And don't ever... If anyone's going to say, no you aren't. Well, look at my, look at my reforms. I'm one of the most nicest. And apparently a lot of my troops became communist in this time. That's good. I'm gonna have to start destroying some of them, that means. What that means. Okay, and... Okay, let me just do this. Let me just do this. Okay, anyways. And, yeah. I also... Ooh. Oh, we're starting to make our tanks! Look! Oh, look! It's our first Jasper goes bankrupt. That's good. Okay, but no, it's not good. Um, but look! We're starting to make our own tanks, and we really gotta get this up. So let's see. What does this become? What the Gazette de France. Gazette de France. So that's what the nationalist so everyone wanna know this is what the nationalist newspaper looks like. It looks pretty cool. It's not like a Le Toms, I mean I guess Le Toms is like the middle ground between all of them. The Le Tom Le Tom Ah You know, I sometimes hate my French teacher for not teaching me actual proper French. Yeah, that it really does stink. Okay, and also things I don't actually live in France, I live next to a nation that is next to France. So it makes it really hard to speak languages, especially in America. Especially in America. Though we do have a lot of similar similar type things like Le Le Computer Le Orienteur is computer. Le Ordinateur. I think it's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Somebody in the comments, please tell me. And just some of our armies making up. Gonna start pushing them towards Uniting. Okay, and we got a sphere nation. I think it might be Brazil or Spain. Oh, well, I was right. And it was totally not due to cheat me that I was right. Okay. And is the Swedish still trying to push me out? Yes, they are. They are severely pushing me out. Okay, I'll move these guys right here specifically. Um, over here in my other colonies, are they started working? Nope, they still have not started their production of their own troops. Okay, over here, these guys have started their own production of their own troops. See, how come they can do it and the other guys can't? And just to save time, I'm just going to open up all of them. Okay. 
And yeah. And oh shit, I completely forgot about the men over here. Okay, let's get back over here because we have to transport these guys to help protect our um, Korean conquest. Just in case, you know, I'm just saying hypothetical situation, the Chinese go rampage, go Rambo on us, and we have to defend ourselves. We want to make sure that we are defended with adequate amount of arms. And I'm pretty sure I can't recruit anything else in here, so there's not really much point in doing anything. So let's get back out. Okay, we got a lot of factories collapsing. Probably because I'm in the worst government to be if you're ever, if you're ever French. I'll probably just like, open them all up again when I want to, but for right now, I'm just, the new store in Agama, whatever, okay, and there's our tanks, <laughs> oh, our tank army, dig deep and greedy, our tank army, it's starting to become a reality, so this is really starting to become really hyped up, I'm finally, I'm, ma I'm finally glad that we finally have our tanks being built, that means we're starting to get a little bit more advanced than the Germans, who, I don't know how they became big, like, literally, their, their army does not seem that big, but that's, like, solidly army, and we honestly don't even have that big of an army. Most of our industrial or infantry score comes from the, uh, from our capital ships, I mean, and this comes from all soldiers, but their soldiers kind of stink. Let's be honest, the Chinese do not have a big soldier production, and then, yeah, this is all different. And while well, my industrial score jumped a lot since I've been making a lot of my own factories, that's probably because I've been making a lot of my own factories, and I'm not letting, I'm done dealing with all these stupid BS of the capitalist system. Which, I will switch back to at some point, but right now I need to wait for them to actually gain power again, because right now they are at least definitely not the most popular government of all time. So, you know, we have to deal with that, and most of my armies have regained control, that's good. Oh, my tank army. My tank army, how I love thee. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got a lot of our soldiers being made now, mostly in our other all outer colonies. We got a new sphere nation, Romania. Oh my goodness, did they actually did the government actually stay in power long enough for me to do something? Nope, they had another rebellion. Okay, that's good. That's good, Romania. You guys just seem to always prove me wrong when I think you're about to gain control of your land. I don't know how, you just always somehow prove me wrong. And, okay, mechanized mining, that's a very good thing. And we have another crisis aboard. Um, mm, it's Bulgaria again. Well, I'm still not ready for another great war. I'm still not, I'm still not quite ready for another... Wait, war. So I'm just gonna add myself as a participant, but I'm not gonna add myself as a actual person that's gonna be the one that's gonna be supporting them in this in this endeavor. Okay. So what do we need next? Um, RG output might be good. Um, we got everything we could from there. Um, you know what? Let's just max down all of our conference to so conference and Gazette de France. And you know what that is? Oh, and the, the revolution. The Jacobsons! <laughs> the Jacobsons took over Romania! The Jacobsons. Some people have said Jacobsons, but I still call them Jacobsons. But the Gazette de France. Gazette de France. That's how you say it. I wasn't saying it in the French. Axel. Axel. Okay, we got some things. Prices collapse. That isn't a good sign. Um, we have lots of companies collapsing. Uh, crisis averted. That's good. Now, could the... Okay, as much as I love you, Bul Bulgaria, uh, Bulgaria, I would really love to see the, uh, um, what is it called? These guys free themselves. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen, like, the Albanians actually gain power. And, I mean, they have a lot of good things going for them. They have, like, nine, let me see. They're not gaining as fast as the Bulgarians. Bulgarians are probably going to become another crisis. No way. I think Poland's actually might... Polish actually might gain the land back from from the uh, Austrian oppressors, which will be good because that means Austria becomes a very profitable thing. I mean, I don't think they're ever... I think at this point in the game, since they've been beaten down twice, um, I don't think they're going to be coming back, but since I'm planning on splitting them up completely, I don't want to spear them. So, 
yeah. Later. Oh, later. Oh, the Gazette. Gazette de France. Okay. Let me just reopen all these. Yeah, this saves me a lot more time. Okay. And the beliefs must be respected. And for no particular reason other than I want to, I'm going to start trying to sphere. Trying to start spheering, um, Netherlands. So, you know, I need to start, I need to make sure that the Old West, I don't know what that was, but it did not seem very good. Okay. Gonna move all my armies that I have over here. Netherlands has been discredited by the Italians. Well, Itali it, that makes sense. Italy needs to, it's trying to figure out its own sphere of influence and trying to make sure that it gains whatever it wants. So that makes sense that they want to block me in one of the only few sphere nations, I'm guessing. Because I've sphered a lot. No, they haven't even sphered it themselves, so that's kind of weird. Hmm. Should I go after Russia? Well, let me see. How big is the Russians? Let's see. Where do the Russians rank? Austria's beating the Russians? Oh, wow. Um, that just gave me hope. You know what? Pruitt, let's start... Let's start... In I have no influence over the Russians. Let's not start influencing the Russians. Because that would take way too long if I have no influence over the Russians. Okay? And did these guys arrive? Yes, they did. Okay, so we got a good amount of troops over here. Just in case. You know, this is just our just-in-case force. Just in case that the... Chinese decided to go Rambo on us and everything and crisis averted the revolution in El Salvador El Salvador Yay, actually that makes kind of sense. Let me see. I didn't even know El Salvador was a country Okay, and Lo Romania is Hopefully gonna be back in our sphere. You know, it's always like a debate in my mind to say if we're ever gonna get this and oh my goodness Oh, I wish we could crush, we just, uh, the UK, UK is so close, oh my goodness, I've never seen UK in 7th place before, that is amazing, I've never, wow, we did a lot of damage to the UK, oh, and I wish we could do even more, like, I really wish we could just keep nailing them, and how are we doing now in our, in tank divisions, we're probably the leading producer of tanks, yes, I guess that, um, how are we doing in telephone lines? We have now at least maxed out the second. That's fine. Automotive industry, we are not... We are just starting to become a little bit bigger, but the Germans still have, like, a major advantage over us. Radios, no one's still producing. Automoplanes, we're still, like, doing things. So what we need to do is build a little bit more... Um, I hate building in the French West Indies. So we're going to have to build a little bit more auto industry that should bring us back up to the to the standards of the Germans um electrical company I think could survive unless the allies I'm not gonna build anything in well yeah cuz they don't even have their own they only have a thousand population I think in total so I'm not even gonna try with them um over here let's build a hmm. yeah we still can't build a radio shack so I don't think that would work hmm. telephone Let's build a telephone. Let's build a telephone for over there. Okay. Let's get back to our industry. And our economy collapsed for a second. And are we still getting war reparations? That's not good. If we're still getting war reparations and we're not exactly in the positive, that's not good. But you know what? I'm not quite keen on dealing with it right now. Old style family business. We go by the text and law. We get everything. Yeah, and oh my goodness, India! Okay, so India is finally starting to do something of the British, and wow, they're having major rebellions. That's really quite cool. So, you know, that means that maybe we can finally, okay, Siam, I think it's finally going to gain back into my sphere. Yes, they are. Okay, but that's really quite cool because, you know, I've never seen India break, break themselves away naturally, and Iraq is trying to free themselves. Bulgaria, please don't be a hog, Bulgaria. I mean, honestly, you just had your own crisis, and no one's going to support you. Let's, I'll be real here, no one wants to support Bulgaria. And our economy is just, like, jumping quick. Our main producer is from the Swedish lines, which is kind of cool. Sweden and us are definitely locked in sync. And, 
Why do I not control the army of Luxembourg? I just realized that we should be controlling Luxembourg right Oh, we can't control Luxembourg right now. That's why we don't control Luxembourg. Okay. And, yeah. It seems like Netherlands have slowly have gained some things. So, you know what? I'm just going to see whatever I can do. No, it seems like they're doing a pretty good job on their own. I want to make sure I can do some things. So, steamers, ships. Let's start producing a lot of stuff. Electrical gear, um, telephone lines, and let's just invest, let's just make sure we have 20% share in the Dutchlands. The Dutchlands. Okay, um, no, these aren't very far. Oh my goodness, yes. Give me some steel. Okay, there we go. Now we got a good share of our, of our, um, French industries in Dutch. We want to make sure we keep expanding our Dutchlands. Okay, key. Government intervention. What would that give us? Synthetic, synthetic oil, and economic policy, estate capitalism. Actually, this would be really good if we got this right now, because we're still state capitalist. Which I guess aren't as bad as a uh, planned economy, but it's not necessarily better. So, all right, we're gonna see what crisis. I'm, I'm wondering out of these. Crisis is right here developing. I wonder which one will take the will take the the leap. Okay, and we got some revolutions, and we're starting to influence Brazil back into our sphere. In fact, I want Brazil back into our sphere. Spend a lot of money into this. Because Brazil, I love the Brazilian people. So, and the communists. Great. Makes me happy to know that people still are communists in today's world. Okay, and um, you know. Honestly, a paper factory nowadays would not be very lucrative business. Excellent. Because we're entering the 20th century. Well, we already entered the 20th century, and we don't really need paper that much. A steel factory may still be profitable, actually. Black shirts. Oh, no. The emerging fascists in one of our states has formed a preliminary corp, organizing with military command chain, ideology coherent, and ready to the fighting of the fascist party leaders. The group is coherently referred to as the Black Shirts from the iconic mystique shirts that they have taken to wearing. This trend is new f is new to French politics, and some fear that it might lead to a chain reaction with other parties forming milita military organizations of their own. So, everyone, basically Adolf, Hitler, basically Adolf Hitler or the French Adolf Hitler is trying to make its own army so that it will be able to coup my nation. Um, clamp down on the organization and attempt to shut it down. That's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. And back over here in our French policy places. I'm going to combine. There we go. I'm going to combine all of our armies right here so I can divide them up evenly. And over here in our African conquest. Yes, we finally got our African colonies up and running. Okay. All of you guys meet up right there so that we can start gaining control of our land over here. We got some, col got some people over there. I think we got a new person right there. Yeah, it seems like we made our armies again. This is really awesome. So, our places should be well protected. I mean, Panama Panama region is well protected because of me. And over here in Ghana. Oh, I guess I didn't do anything in Ghana. I don't think I can do anything in Ghana. That's why I didn't do anything in Ghana. But how's the Ghana population, by the way? Wow. That's actually pretty amazing. Because if you guys remember, this was at only about 500 people. That's got nine th almost 10,000 people in the province. That's almost a net worth of, I think, five times. Or 500% 500, 500 gain of people, from what we know. Okay. Now that I've combined all of these guys, you know, we could just keep it in a gigantic army like this and just start, I, hmm. You know, I'm thinking for a second. Maybe we should just... You know, keep our armies this big. That way we can start stacking up to the German might. So we need 26 soldiers in total in our mainland. We just haven't made any of these guys. I'll wait until we make those tanks before I start doing anything. But yeah, this is our main army. Our main gigantic army led by Patrice! Yeah! And for those guys who don't know, Patrice is the guy who won the major battle in the First Great War where he held out against impossible odds and basically established a dominance that we still 
we are still proud of him today. I think Patrice is probably one of the most well-known generals of the French. And probably one of the most feared because he's very young for his age. I mean, he entered in the service. I mean, he's, I think he's only about, no, I better close right now before I make him not the leader. I think he's only about maybe 35, 45 in total. That's pretty young for a general. And Netherlands is slowly becoming back in our sphere, which I don't mind. I don't mind the Netherlands being in our sphere. Definitely not. And how is our infrastructure? Yeah! Oh my goodness, that made me so happy right now. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Nothing. We finally, this is, a, this is an age, everyone. We finally have our infrastructure to the max. And Portugal, I feel so badly for you right now that I have to upgrade your infrastructure. I mean, that's so sad that no one even, this, this is supposed to be my job and I haven't even done it. No one even really cared about you, Portugal. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. You guys now have upgraded infrastructure and good minimum wage. Okay. So, I've done almost every reform right now except for 14-hour days, which, as you guys know, I'm heavily fighting against. I will, I guess, fight to the day I die to not give anyone minimum wage. It's just against me. And common realities, uh, cement factories, steel factory, I'm still debating on it. I'm not sure if I should. Cement factories aren't as important in today's world. We can get cement from almost anywhere. Um, cement again. Cement again. I mean, I really don't care about the cement business, if I must be honest with you guys. It wasn't really that lucrative of business anyway, so. Um, French violent. Uh, shirts. That's okay. It's not like the best. Yeah, we can just collapse it. I mean, yeah, just collapse it. Okay, so what can we build here instead, though? Hmm. Now, this is the one time I really do think my economy skills stink because I don't know what to build. And since we're not having capitalists extend the factories, hmm. If I mass extended everything, would that work? How much does that cost me? Not very much, actually. I think it's because we have state. Okay, I'm going to take a moment of doing this just so you guys don't have to see it. So see you guys in a second.